One thing that's really interesting about picture books is there are so many people involved in the way that they get read and, and made, the way they're created, really. So, uh, you know, it's, it's written by me, and then an illustrator uh, takes my text and interprets it. Um, and then a teacher, a librarian, a parent, a babysitter will take that text and that illustration and interpret it again. Uh, choose whether or not to use voices, maybe cut lines, put page turns in different places than we did. Uh, and then finally it's interpreted by the reader. A novel is like very much one-to-one, -one, right? Like it'll just be, that conversation is just between me and the audience. But uh, a picture book is more like playwriting. I, I'm there writing the play at the start, but it'll be interpreted again and again and again. And I think each time you sort of reach across that interpretive gap, uh, it can create energy, you know. If everybody is contributing in this uh, to this enterprise, like by the end, something really exciting has happened. Something really collaborative. Uh, it's a collaboration between people who am I, I've never met and I never will meet. And I think that that's really exciting and unique to this form, actually, in the way that it happens. Um, I think that uh, a good picture book, uh, and, and picture book flaps always really bug me. Though they'll be. It'll be the age range, and it'll be very specific. It'll delineate a lower limit and an upper limit. Uh, and I think a good picture book, oftentimes, uh, it can have a floor, but, but it won't have a ceiling, an age above which um, you know, this picture book no longer has meaning. I, I, I think a good picture book should not embarrass older kids or adults who are hearing this book or reading it. Uh, they can have something for everyone. I wish we treated picture books more like board games that, you know, uh, it'll say four and up, five and up, eight and up. I, I you know, we would, we never, we wouldn't look askance at uh, college kids playing a game of Monopoly or Life, but uh, you know, I, I think it, it, if they say that their favorite work is something by Maurice Sendak or Margaret Wise Brown, uh, it would raise eyebrows, or you'd think they were being cute. Uh, cute, adorable, all the things that we use to sort of, I think, relegate picture books to uh, this realm when a lot of them are, are none of those things. Yeah, I, I think that, uh, to me, the picture book is, is the most exciting art form because of that, like I've said, that, that relationship between text and image working together. You don't get that in, in quite the same way anywhere else. Graphic novels a little bit, comics a little bit, but, but picture books have their own way of working that are related uh, but different. And I think parents are so eager uh, a lot of times to rush their kids out of picture books and brag that like, oh, you know, my kindergartner has read all seven Harry Potters. And to be honest, I don't really care about that. I, 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 I think that uh, for me, I read novels and picture books together. Um, when I started reading my first novels, I continued to read picture books. My mom never put my picture books away. They were always on my bookshelf, and they were always part of my reading life. Uh, and by the time I was in high school, I was working with younger kids and was bringing out my picture books to, to share. Um, but throughout middle school, as I was loving just like big, fat novels, I also loved picture books. Um, the, the kind of storytelling they, they make possible, you can't get elsewhere, you know? It's a form where real dramatic irony is possible, visual thinking is possible. Um, it's very complicated. Oftentimes the vocabulary, the reading level, because they're so often read by adults or intended to be uh, read by an adult to a small child, will be much higher than that of a novel. So uh, I, think, I think we kind of infantilize children's literature in ways that are unhealthy and unhealthy in similar ways to the way we infantilize children in this society.